single leg glute bridge with a dumbbell. This is a wicked lower body exercise, one that requires proper form to get the most out of it, as with any exercise, I guess, but this one in particular. And so what does proper form look like? First and foremost, I'm gonna grab that dumbbell. I'm gonna work my left leg here. That's gonna be the glute I'm focusing on. So I'm gonna place that dumbbell right over top of my hip crease. If you need, you can place a little towel just to help uh, with a little extra added cushion. From here, I'm gonna place my feet together. Now the biggest correction I'm often making with uh, dumbbell glute bridges is the feet are too close. And then we feel it through our knees. We don't get enough activation and hip extension through the glutes. You wanna have your foot out. I find it's helpful if I dig through the heels. Again, my knees are pretty much together. And then with this other hip, I'm gonna bring it up so that my uh, uh, thigh is perpendicular to the floor. That's gonna help make sure my spine stays neutral as I perform my bridge. Now from here, I'm gonna squeeze that glute. So I'm driving that heel through the floor, squeeze that glute on the way up, it's up, hold, one, little tap, drive, two, little tap, drive, three, little tap, drive, Four. What I often recommend to clients is just to play around a little bit where their foot goes in terms or in relation to where it is to their butt to find where you feel it through your glute the most. Wherever you feel it through your glute the most, that's going to be the ideal position for you. And again, you wanna make sure you're getting full hip extension all the way up. You're not leaving that range of motion short at the top, driving, squeezing all the way through, and then coming down. You're gonna perform all of your reps on one side, and then you switch that dumbbell, perform all of your reps on the other side.